Hello, I'm TT. I am the writer and producer of Different Shades of Lipstick, and today we're speaking with Tina Almas. Hi, who is Brenda? Uh, is a star role in Different Shades of Lipstick, and we're going to be asking her a few questions. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh man. So my name is Christina Almas. Um, I moved down here about five years ago with my husband. I was I didn't know where I was going or what I was going to do. But um, when I moved down here, I found out that Virginia was into acting and it had a big theater. And I was I was so amazed. And um, I just took it from there. I got an agent and I started looking for work. I've been in a couple commercials. Um, my big thing was I was in a movie called The Gateway with Frank Grillo and Olivia Mom. <laughs> I loved it. It was... It was really nice to be on be on set like that, but right now um, I'm in Regent University to be a film director and um, to do a little bit of acting. I'm gonna get my bachelor's degree, so I'm very happy with that. Oh, I'm excited! That's yeah. great. All right, how do you feel about um, acting in this role in particular? Like, were you nervous or are you comfortable with the role of Brenda? Yes, I am. Um, I was really excited to get the lead role. Um, yeah, I do really um, struggle with a lot of stuff in my own life, so that's why this character was so good for me. Um, I feel everything that Brenda feels, so <laughs> I really like this um, this role. I really appreciate getting this role too. So, how is this role different from other roles that you might have had or portrayed, and why so? Um, this role is different because this will be my first speaking role in the play. Um, I've never, I've never had speaking parts, so this is why this is really big. <laughs> um, my next question is, how do you feel about um, how the production is going so far now that it's trying to come together here near the end? I feel the production is um, doing very well. Then when we first started, mm -hmm. um, everybody's getting their lines together. Everybody's getting their emotions that they want. Everybody's pretty much feeling their character out. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a really good play. I'm very and super excited about it. I'm this. excited too. <laughs> so how is it working with the cast and the production team in this particular, particular um, production? Oh, it was really nice. Um, I, I'm a social person, so I love meeting new people. Um, the cast is really great. Everybody, I didn't know there were so many great actors here in um, Virginia, but just to be able to socialize and just be around people that's in the same profession as me, yeah. it really feels really good. Now, besides yourself, which character in this production do you think is really going to blow people away? I would have to say the um, two characters that will really set the audience like a while is Sheila and Derek because in that scene they have some really um, deep issues that they're dealing with and I think that's going to be the one for the audience to be I, like, I whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I agree with that. Um, let me ask you a little bit about the acting business itself. Uh, what are some of the difficulties that you would that you face in the acting business? Um, I would say probably with like um, the directors, like how they how they really want it. Um, with working with you, it's been a pleasure because a lot of actors they they some actors like some directors want it word for word. But you, you just let us put our own emphasis in that, which I think is better, so that it comes out natural. So I really appreciate you letting us do that. Good. So well, what do you um, what do you want, what do you do when you're not acting? Oh, um, I do a lot of songwriting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of songwriting. Um, I love to cook, and I love to watch movies. <laughs> so, um, Darren also, his hobby is cooking. Oh, okay. He actually has that in common. He likes to cook as well. He said he's not good at it, but he, he likes to cook as well. Oh, okay. That's excellent. That's interesting to know a little bit about um, your lives and what you, you all do on the side. And to hear another actor likes to cook. Uh, so, what suggestion would you give to young, you know, inspiring um, actors? 
Uh, I would just tell them to keep going. Don't never let nobody tell you that um, you can't do it because I'm an example of it. I wouldn't think in a thousand years that I would be on TV or in play. It's just been amazing. But just always believe in yourself and always have God there with you and you'll knock it out the park. Okay, so what would you say to your fans? I love you fans, and I will see you in Hollywood. Really (laughs) soon. Love you guys. (laughs) Can you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, any other projects or your next project? Um, Well, right now, um, I'm pretty much focused on this play, and I'm focusing on school. So that's where I am to get my bachelor's and master's degree. And then um, we'll take it from there and see what more is to offer. So what is it that you just Oh my God, it's fun. <laughs> it is fun acting. It's, it's just fun to be able to be somewhere around people, be able to come somewhere where I know I'm happy coming to. I love acting. That's, it's just all, oh, it's good. I love it so much. It's so much fun. What type of roles do you see yourself playing in the future? Um, I see myself more, I didn't think I would see myself more in theater, but now that I got a little gist of it and how it is, I think I see myself on Broadway soon. Woo! Yes, I like it. So, um, how did you start in the industry? If you were going to tell somebody, how, where, where would I start wanting to be an actor and how was your first experience in the industry? Well, uh, my first time being on TV was me and um, a friend went to New York and we were just walking and they pulled us over and they were like, you want to be on TV? And we were like, sure. It was the people's sport. We got to meet Harvey. And from there, I just loved it. I loved like the interaction and having to um, answer the question. It, it was, uh, it was, um, it was a dress that a lady had got for a wedding, and um, the dress did not look anything like it. And it, it was just just to be in front of the camera mm-hmm. and to be able to meet him. It took from there. I just loved everything about it. When I got back to work, I was working in New Jersey. When I got back to work that day, this guy ran to me. He was like, "Oh my God, I see you." <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> and I loved it from there. All right, that's good. So how do you, how would you manage, or how do you manage uh, the balance in between personal life and professional life? How would you say, would you be your best method to manage that? Um, definitely a calendar. I have a calendar where I write um, everything down. I have a daily calendar. And, um, you know, my phone to... I have a calendar on my phone, so definitely being very organized. That way you don't miss certain stuff because being an actor, you have a lot of schedules. You have to be very organized. So having your calendar is really good um, investment. So what has been your motivation and your drive as far as success in your career? I mean, I would have to say um, mostly myself, but my family has always been there with me. With they, my mom, my dad, they always encourage me, and my husband has been my big encourager. And just everybody around me, like with doing this play, and when I practice with the girls, they always encourage me. It's, it's a lot of encouragement. I love it. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, do you have techniques, or what techniques do you use to help create a believable character? I actually um, read books. I have a method acting book now mm-hmm. where um, it teach you how to do exercises and stuff like that. But you can Google it. Google is, has a lot of information about techniques that you can use for like beginners, advanced class. You know, um, I took a couple of classes. I took a class with um, Chief Flippin. I don't know if you know him, but he's an actor. Um, he does classes and stuff. But yeah, just doing acting. on that.
that one or oh I usually um go with the type like my 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 usual type is main girl so I'm usually main so um that's why I guess with Brenda it's a it is a little bit different because she's a little bit more suited but usually I go with the type like what type are they looking for you know things like that um is it gonna be is she supposed to be me you know is she supposed to be a prior but I'm not gonna lie I really it's hard for me to cry. <laughs> it is hard. I'm still working on that. Okay. What fictional character would be the most excited to be in your life? Mm. I would have to say um, Fiona from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I see the musical. It was good. It was a great really? musical. A great that musical was successful too. It was a great musical, but um, I think it's on HBO Max. Mm-hmm. If you want to see it, it's good. But I would like to, if I could meet a fictional character, it would be Fiona. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do how do people contact you and follow you? Um, you can follow me on um, Facebook. I also have a um, backstage where you can contact me and I'm also on YouTube. Okay. Alright, any last words would you like to say of encouragement to your listeners and followers? Yes, okay. just keep going and I'll see you in Hollywood. You'll see this big face. Don't forget me. Love you guys. Alright. And this was this